Yes, my name is Philip Hubble Jones. I was a junior when my father was living. He was Bill Jones Sr. His father was William Jones, and his father was Philip James Jones. Philip James was an emigrant from Ireland who came over in the late 1830s just before the potato famine. We're, uh, we're here at the Jones family farm. I'm Terry Jones, the fifth generation. And I'm Jamie, the sixth generation. I grew up here on the farm, like my father did, the house right over there and um, continue to live here on the farm but only across the street right now. Never, never moved far away. You feel that um, has been a rewarding life and a, a good life? I'm satisfied with it. Well, the more is free. To live with the weather. Guy's um, Eco Garden, which used to be Beardsley Organic Farm. Before that, it was just Beardsley Farm. And before that, it was just a plain old dairy farm. I just enjoy um, seeing the same people back every year. They become friends. Would you get the stuff out of the back of the van so I can move it, please? Thank you. Hi, I'm Mark Gauger. Charles Gauger. And um, this is Maple View Farm that we're sitting at right here. Uh, we are uh, organic farmers. We sell at a local farmer's market, and we also do a uh, CSA program, which is Community Supported Agriculture, where people buy a share on our farm at the beginning of the season, and then come once a week for um, a pickup, and they get a wide variety of vegetables that are coming in in the, in the garden. Mm -hmm. That's about it. That's what we are. That's what we do. I'm Bill Dusing. I'm farm at the Old Solar Farm in Oxford. I've lived here for 31 years, and since then I've been learning uh, how to grow things organically, and have done a variety of things, basically looking at the connection between the farm and the rest of the community. I thought it was very valuable to have a farm, to have, to know how to care for a piece of land, to make it productive. Most of my work involves education regarding the environment and agriculture and farming and food.
I'm Rudy Hudat. I've been here. I've born here and I've always lived the same spot. When I was a kid, there probably was 45 dairy farms in Shell. Of course, the dairy farms are all gone. We were the last one. Uh, we kept the, we keep a few beef cows to keep the place clean, and we sell hay now, and Freddie Monahan plants sweet corn, or Freddie grows vegetables and sells them. So I'm kind of happy to see him do that. Sasha Monahan, um, I guess you could say owner of Stone Gardens Farm Stand. We grow flowers and vegetables. It's great. We have our kids up here helping us out. They're with me all the time, and um, it's a great family business. We have a lot of questions when it comes to different things, and we're happy that um, we can go talk to Leonard McEwen about different questions, bring them over, look at our vegetables, tell us, you know, what are we doing wrong with this kind of crop at this time of year. There's no better lifestyle, really. You Why? Know? Why? I don't think it's good. I mean, I've got two kids, two boys were raised, and I don't think I'd raise them any different way. I don't know, what is it? I don't know. It's just being outside, watching stuff grow. Out there, there's nothing better than, I mean, you go out there and tend hay or something, and, and go out in the middle of the field, and you know, the smell of fresh hay, and the smell of the dirt when you're plowing, there's nothing better.